Hey, hey, everybody, welcome back. Hope you're doing well. Today, we have made Twitter history. The first time a Twitter boycott has ever worked in the history of time. McDonald's has actually pulled out of Russia. Listen, a couple days ago, we made a video on McDonald's that uh, Twitter was freaking out that McDonald's was still continuing its operations in Russia. And uh, this was somehow contributing to the Russia-Ukraine conflict because, you know, Russia is getting more money from McDonald's and they're somehow fueling the tanks that are you being used to destroy Ukraine. Now, in that video, I expressed how completely ludicrous and insignificant McDonald's is to Russia, and that pulling out of Russia would probably only affect the Russian citizens and not the actual war. But hey, a bunch of crying babies is a bunch of crying babies. You can't ignore them, you gotta shut them up. The big news, McDonald's officially suspended all of its operations in Russia, at least temporarily. And at this point, it's not only McDonald's. Literally any company you can think of is pulling out of Russia. We got uh, McDonald's, Starbucks, Coca-Cola, Pepsi, Unilever, Ikea, H&M, American Express, MasterCard, Visa, Deloitte, uh, KFC, Pizza Hut, Little Caesars, Netflix, Disney, Google, Microsoft, Apple. Now, when I say pull out of Russia, I don't mean they're taking all their stuff and getting packing their bags, okay? It's not that easy. But they're temporarily suspending their operations as a, as a kind of means of, like, sanctions on Russia, you know? And the thing is, a lot of these companies literally can't pull out of Russia. Like, a lot of Twitter people are just complaining that, hey, Apple, literally get the heck out of Russia. What are you doing? But then some of these are like run by like independent, you know, Russian operatives. I don't know why I said Russian operatives. That sounds like a, they're on a spy mission. But then the thing is the company might not have full control over the operations that go down in Russia. So in some situations, it might be hard to completely suspend their operations. Now, a lot of people were confused as to why like regular Russian citizens have to like suffer from this. And it's, it's just an unfortunate byproduct because because, you know, McDonald's pulls out, they're, they're not gonna have McDonald's anymore and they can't get their chicken nuggies and that's gonna make them pretty sad. Basically, the purpose of all these companies pulling out and, you know, all these countries imposing sanctions on Russia is to kind of, like, starve the citizens and the government at the same time. That, that means, like, the citizens will start turning against the government, which they probably already have at this point. Like, you've seen a bunch of, like, Russians protesting the whole war thing and then the government just apprehends them, like, just is what it is, you know? But then the fact remains, you can't really target Russia's government without targeting the, the citizens of Russia as well, because they're ran by the Russian government. So anything bad that happens to Russia's government and their economy and whatever, the money, everything, that gets translated onto the Russian citizens, and they just have a way harder life now for doing literally nothing and just being in the wrong place at the wrong time. McDonald's said on Tuesday it would temporarily close all 847 of its restaurants in Russia, including its iconic Pushkin Square location, increasing pressure on other global bands, to pause operations in the country. Now, a lot of people were concerned about the employees of McDonald's, obviously, because, you know, they're just gonna be fired or something, but McDonald's said it would continue to pay salaries to its 62,000 employees in Russia. Now, just looking at that number, it, they're not gonna suspend operations for that long. I'm just saying, like, they've probably done the calculations because obviously suspending operations in Russia, McDonald's gonna have like a huge loss of money, right? That's 62,000 employees and translate that to customers, I don't know, the entire population of Russia probably eats McDonald's, okay? Now we all know how massive companies operate, okay? They never ever, ever do anything out of the goodness of their heart, okay? There's a business reason behind it, okay? They're not gonna do something just because a bunch of people are crying about it, okay? If there's enough media uproar, maybe. And you could say that, okay, this is why McDonald's did it, but they would never do something that would cause them serious actual losses, okay? So I'm pretty sure, this is my guess, it's a temporary suspension, and as soon as there's any progress made in this war whatsoever, McDonald's is setting up shop back in Russia, okay? So the McDonald's CEO said that it's impossible to predict when we might be able to reopen our restaurants in Russia, okay? So obviously, well, they're not gonna give an exact time like, yeah, we're gonna reopen it as soon as, mm, as soon as I just wanna make that money back, baby. We're experiencing disruptions to our supply chain along with other operational impacts. We will closely monitor the humanitarian situation. Listen, maybe, maybe they're doing this out of the goodness of their hearts, but also, 
I can never trust a gigantic company. Like, companies are run solely for profit, okay? They have to pay all their employees. They just want to make profits, okay? And you might be like, oh, no, there's a different situation. There's an actual war happening. This is a rare thing. This is not a rare thing at all, okay? There's stuff happening around the world all the time. And I'm telling you, big companies just absolutely do not care. That is just how the world works, unfortunately. Okay, moving on to another situation. We're talking about Artesian Builds, a massive multi-million dollar PC company. Company, they're completely shut down. Basically, if you guys don't know what happened, which you probably do, you've watched it on like five other different channels. Stop it. Stop it. Only watch Peg. Okay, I'm kidding. So basically what happened is that Artesian Bills is this PC company. They were doing this PC giveaway and then somebody won it, but... The person who won the PC giveaway was a small streamer with not many followers. I don't think that matters. If you win a giveaway, you win a giveaway. You, you get what you rightfully deserve. It's like it's like somebody buys a lottery ticket and then a, a poor person wins the lottery and you're just like, yeah, no, we, we only allow rich people to win our lottery, which literally makes no sense at all. So basically the CEO of the company went on live stream, okay, during the giveaway and said, yeah, um, I don't think I'm going to give you this PC. Uh, you don't really have any followers, you don't have that clout, you know? So, um, yeah, despite the fact that you won the giveaway, you're not getting anything. And this situation absolutely blew up. A bunch of YouTubers made a video on it. Everybody was not happy with the CEO who completely toasted his own company. So after this, obviously, everybody boycotting Artesian Bills now. And, uh, yeah, their entire company fell apart from the CEO and his one statement. We are sad to announce that effective now, we are freezing or suspending all activities. Ongoing is analysis by outside counsel for reorganization to ensure fair treatment of clients, creditors, and employees. We expect more info by month's end. We are open to assistance and investment. At this point, we're examining a potential employee-led buyout of the company. Thank you for your support. Yeah, basically, goodbye Artesian Bills. I don't know, maybe next time, don't be an a-hole to a small streamer. Or don't be an a-hole to anybody and maybe honor your damn giveaways. Like, a giveaway is a promise. Promise, okay, you can't you can't say something and then not do it now This company is actually really popular and good at what they do, you know So they make good PCs now moist critical gets all his PCs from artesian bills And now the company is just completely gone and he's also apparently talked to like the CEO and stuff So he's really disappointed in them. He never really got the impression that they were like bad people, but uh, yeah, I guess, you know, sometimes your, your true nature just comes out, you know? Now, this company obviously had many employees who basically just lost their jobs, and it's pretty sad. That's just what happens when your CEO is a little bit of a dummy. So they're kind of hoping that somebody invests in Artesian Bills and, you know, builds it up back to its former glory. Now, Muda from Some Ordinary Gamers actually said, I'd be down to buy the company outright and just build it back up properly. Completely serious offer. Now... I don't know if that's a joke, even though he said completely serious offer. I don't know how much it costs to buy Artesian Bills, but my god, my, my man is loaded, apparently. But honestly, if he does end up buying it, that would be freaking fantastic, because he definitely has a really good reputation. Everybody respects him in the whole PC space, so I don't know, man. That, that might actually be a good investment if he knows how to go about it. That would be a huge story, actually. I'm kind of excited to see if he actually does it. Anyways, that's pretty much it. Pretty short video. Sorry about that, but hope you guys enjoyed. Bye-bye.